I'm Zachary Fowler, and that's Chris Thorne. And this is the 30 Days Survival Challenge, Texas. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. Uh, I know. How about snakeskin purses? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want snakeskin purse too? Yeah. All right. Let's get my bags. Okay, guys, hugs. My girls. See them in a month and a half, or a month and a month and a week, I guess. It, technically, all together. Forty-nine. Is that that's the limit? Fifty, right? Yeah. All right, we're good. That was pretty painless. I had to check my camera bag as always. I never put that down below on the plane. That always stays right with me. Not the way I've seen people tossing stuff out of planes when they're packing our stuff. Yeah, Texas, here I come. Best part about traveling, traveling by montage. There you go. We will be dimming the cabin lights for takeoff. Individual reading light controls are overhead. Thank you for your attention. I know carbs. But uh, in like three days, I'm gonna be eating possum and catfish and uh, who knows what else, hopefully boar and something bigger and tastier. So, carbs it is for today. Look at you, you are half the size you were last time I saw you, or in person. All right, we got my bags, and we can get out of here. Now it's time to eat. Gotta get my knives out of here before we go too far. <laughs> and the slingshot, mostly my slingshot. I can live without my knives. I don't know if I can live without my slingshot. Woo, it's hot here. What the heck? It is not hot. It was freezing at home with snow on the ground. There's a nor'easter and it's it's like 70. All right, guys. What is up? What's up? <laughs> no, man. You hungry? I am starving. All right, let's go eat. Oh, happy New Year. Oh, my Whew, Chris is a great host, took me to an awesome Mongolian grill, and we did a live stream about the 30-day challenge the next day. But somebody asked, are we bringing food? We are not bringing any food. We're not bringing any calories. We are just going to survive, catch and cook the whole time we're out there. That's the whole point of this adventure. Shave the Wookiee. A little haircut action from Chris, because it was hot down there in Texas for a Mainer like me. It's already been late fall, and my package showed up with all my stuff from Maine just at the last minute. It might look like a lot of stuff that we're bringing with us, but a lot of it comes from different sponsors, so we're going to be showing it off on different days. That's all of it. Not a lot of stuff. Haversack, backpack, camera bag, and trapper basket. I don't want to spend so much time telling you about all the gear that it ruins the video, so there's going to be a link in the description for every single one of the videos with a gear video related to that video so you can see that and get to know the stuff that we brought with us. But let's get out there and really start this adventure. And we are off and away. I got my pack. I'm gonna have to make another couple couple runs to get all the way out here. Not sure of the full distance, but we're out there. We're out there. You won't hear cars. You might hear planes because there's planes that fly over everywhere. So as you can see, the light is pretty dusky. We definitely did not get an early start to today. I had a lot of last minute preparations, things going on to make sure when we live the, leave the uh, email world and all that stuff behind, 
that everything was queued up and set to go so we could just enjoy ourselves out here and have some fun. <laughs> Alright guys, well, we made it. This is a beautiful area. And there's a stream, and it's beautiful. Nice little open spot right here. Ouch. Those things hurt. Here we go. Here's a nice couple of trees right here. I could set up my hammock tied to there, to there. Feels almost anticlimactic. I'm gonna have to add some like dramatic music right now because it just, yeah, I don't know. It just, I feel like I'm just going out camping, not the beginning of 30 dramatic days of surviving and hunting and catch and cook, you know? This will have to do for tonight. I picked two trees that were a little on the close side here. I didn't mean to. So my tarps like squenched against each of these trees. Maybe tomorrow I'll get it set up better. I want it a little bit higher so I can have a little, build a little bushcraft desk area to keep my other stuff and a uh, shelving unit. <laughs> you know me, I love to build stuff. I never got a chance when I was up in Canada because that wooded beardsman keeps you right busy the whole time when you're out there adventuring with him. You know, catch and cook, catch and cook every day. But uh, here we're establishing a camp and a beachfront to attack the wild from, you know, as it were. And uh, so I'll build the be. Uh, so I'll be building this up with a little bit of a an area to protect my stuff should it rain, because water in Texas tends to pile up on things and then run off. And uh, ee haw! Time to make another run and get the rest of the camp set up. Packing our way back to camp. Making our own trail. All right, he's marking our trail. The trail that we had found earlier took us way out and around. And he's trusting my guidance to allow us to go straight through the woods. We got permission from the landowner as we're doing this, so. All right, we made it. Here. There's your hammock, <laughs> there's you, and mine's over there through the bushes. Alright, we got all of our stuff down here now, got the dog food to bait the crayfish traps, got my haversack, we're going to head on down to the water, or at least I am, I don't know if Chris is joining me, I got some uh, catfish stink baity stuff here, got a, a power bait version, some 30 pound test, got my gloves, and I got my water filtration system. I want to fill that up. It's just basically, it's a perk pot. Like, just like a, no, not a perk pot. Kind of like a French press. You got the inner liner, and that pulls up like a French press. Ugh. So I fill it here. Put that in. And press that down. And boom, I got clean water. All right, you ready? Look at this place. He's got a little lights all set up in here. He's got some little... At the Copa, Copa Cabana. Yeah, man. Da, 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 da. Ready to see if we can catch some catfish? Let's do, let's do it. Catfish and uh, crawfish for breakfast? Yeah, I'm, I'm down. I have never gotten one of those pull tabs on dog foods to work. So like we said before, there's no rules. So we brought bait for catfish and bait for dog food. Yep, for crawdads, dog food works really, really well. Cheapest stuff you can find works really, really amazing. Right. Handful should do. Just uh -huh. plop it right there in the center, or you can put it in the pocket. Put some in the pocket. Leave some. In. So it doesn't float away. Yep. And it's as simple. Just let it sink. Then we tie it off. Yep. To some reeds. Second one's going out. It's a good size hook. Middle size hook. Got the power bait. 
catfish bait right here, 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 here. What you got going on there? All right, so we got the fire strip roll and we have Smurf crap. What? Uh, it's basically uh, diesel fuel and dragon's breath, realistically. Um, it's a uh, special tender from the Lightning Strike Fire Starter. It's actually what it's called, Lightning Strike Fire Starter. Huh. One shot and it's up. That's a nice one. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's that's a meal right there. Looking crawdad right there. There's like four of them in there. That size. That'll make us a tasty meal. You want to give me a close-up on that one? Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> the big one's trying to get out. That's a good. There we go. It's a good size pot. Look the size, they're most of them the size of my finger, not exactly huge, but that will be dinner. Let's go put this on to cook. Man, look at you, you got fancy tongs. Yeah, man, these are my sprongs. <laughs> I love these things. I think they taste like a Maine lobster, but tiny? Uh, probably not. Boy, there is not a lot on these guys. There we go, first bite. Mmm. That's good. They're ready. They are ready. You it's think? like freshwater shrimp. Yeah, that's good. That's for like freshwater lobster. Yeah. That's quite the bounty for what, three and a half hours? Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, speaking of which, we got sidetracked. Thank you, Lord, for this first bountiful feast of crawfish. Mm-hmm, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm throw some of my wood dobo here and dip my... So we didn't bring food. We did bring our spices, though. Mm. All right, just like when I make a fish head soup, making crawdad head soup. I'm breaking the bodies down a little bit, ripping them apart so that they will cook better. Like that, break it down. I'm still kind of hungry, so I have a pot of crawdad soup for... Got four of the... Uh... Tunas from the cactus when I was out exploring looking for chairs. These are super juicy. I like kiwis, but not sour and not nearly as sweet. Oh, rich broth. All right, turn your bowl to the side so I don't hit the handle. There we go. There you go. Watch, I'm gonna be cured from my cold tomorrow all because of this. All because of crawfish soup. Campbell's. Let me know if I seasoned it to flavor properly. Yes. Nailed it? Yes, this is incredibly hot. I should have waited. <laughs> <laughs> I should have waited a minute. I was like, oh, it burns. It burns so good. I feel like one of those like 90 year old people who can't like sip food. <laughs> That's actually really good. Yeah? It has that crawfish vibe. I need Seasoning. to whittle. I'm gonna need to whittle a spoon so I can <clears throat> try it out. Oh. That's good. I seasoned it to just the right amount. And the crawfish soup. It's so good. It tastes like it tastes like ramen noodles to me for some reason. It's like it's so good. Oh, yeah, it tastes like shrimp 
shrimp flavored ramen noodles the shrimp packet ramen noodles so it's, but this is like like the legit kind like good uh, fire's dying down it's super warm it's probably 50 out about 12 30 at night i'll put in a long night so we could have something to eat it was worth it though the feel good about that whole thing it makes you feel good i'm gonna finish this up Climb under bed in my hammock, have a good night's sleep, get up good and early. See if I can't go for a hunt. Get something with the bow. And uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Day two. See you there. Fowler out.